Hey there, little YouTube. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing this Unify Switch 24 port with PoE. This is the Generation 2 model of the 24 port Unify Switch. This has a 95 watt PoE budget, which should mean that this is the passively cooled and silent version of the uh, 24 port switch with PoE. I do not need a hell of a lot of PoE power. Only a handful of devices and his budget for it will be totally fine, 95 watts. So yeah, it's a pretty big box, as we can all see. And Unify is very Apple-esque in terms of their packaging nowadays. It's a good thing to see that all the major companies are now starting to really get into uh, more friendly packaging in terms of the environment. We can see a diagram of the switch down there. We have recommend kits included, as well as a power cord. And we even have a small little touchscreen on the end of the switch. We'll take a look at it, at all of that as soon as we've unboxed it. Being a Unify product, this is only manageable through the Unify uh, network software. You can run it as a uh, dedicated uh, VM or a Docker container uh, Unify controller, or you can integrate this in an existing setup with a cloud key or a Unify Dream Machine or a Dream Router. When we take a look at the contents of the box, we find these two things here, a small little box which probably has all the accessories and indeed there they are these are the rec mount ears which we will be using a nice european power cable i have plenty of these but you know it's always good to have we have some kind of booklets we'll just lift everything out of the way go the get started guide which is basically most likely just a qr code for you to download the unify app on your phone and last but not least some pitch nuts and screws for your rack very handy that they're included you often find that these are not included so it's very good to see very nice of ubiquity to include those. This is not a sponsored video. I paid full price for this product because I am a uh, sort of a ubiquity enthusiast nowadays upgrading my entire network to Unify. Just because it's very easy to manage I like to have all my things in one place. And uh, yeah it's expensive stuff but you know every once in a while you should treat yourself with some nice gear. And being the geek that I am I enjoy networking gear. Anyway Let's do this properly here. There we go. Be careful with the switch. And with the camera tripod, but you know, less important. Very nicely packaged indeed. Again, very Apple-like. Very nicely sleeved. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice looking switch. Wow. Real nice. Got a touch screen over here. These are the intake vents. 24 ports over here. Let's see, 16 of which are part of Ethernet. Designated by a little electricity uh, or lightning symbol there. On the back, we have more vents for passive airflow. Again, no fans on this unit. If you have the higher end units with uh, higher PoE budgets, like 300, 400 watts, uh, you'll definitely need some fans to keep the power supply and the other components cool. This one does not need fans though. And of course, the power outlet over here. The sides are empty, aside from the screw holes for the rack mount ears. All right, so this is what the switch looks like in full view. Let's power down, see what it looks like when it is powering up. As we can see, the little screen on the left is lighting up, which says that the Unify switch is starting. We'll move over here and get a better look at everything that's going on here. It'll take a little while for it to boot up. Unify switches have quite a lot of software going on. 
Aside from the 24 gigabit Ethernet ports on the Switch, we also have two SFP ports. These are not SFP Plus capable, just regular SFP, so they're gigabit, but they're good enough to uh, interconnect if you have more than one Switch. That should be good for that. And uh, this should be a nice upgrade over my existing Switch, which is a managed uh, Netgear ProSafe Switch, which does not have power over Ethernet. I'm still using a separate switch for that, and I want to consolidate two switches into one. Uh, this does have enough ports for that. 16 ports would not have been enough, but 24 is good enough for that. Alright, so... Here we have the unified touchscreen. We have some basic settings. For instance, we can go into the information here. We can see the default IP address is 192.168.1.20. We can swipe to the right. Looking for a Unify OS console. Some statistics. SFP status. Uptime of the switch, which is very nice to see. Board revision. Firmware version. And that's all there is to that. There we go, we swipe up, we can go to the other details. Brightness of the display, we can set it all the way down, we can put it all the way up. This can also be controlled in the Unify software. Let's see what else is there. A restart button. Very convenient. Here we can see some statistics of the throughput of the switch, CPU memory usage, wattage to the PoE ports, power usage of th 7 days, 30 days, very cool. And of course we can see all the various ports. And the fun little animation right there. This alone is worth spending the 400 bucks these switches cost for sure. Unique selling point right there. That's super cool. So yeah, I guess that really concludes the little unboxing and first look of the Unify Switch 24, Generation 2, or Version 2, uh, with a 95 watt PoE budget. Hope you enjoyed this video, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.